Hello, we're back. I think this is installment number eight of Hogwarts Legacy. And, uh... uh I forget what all these do. Venomous Tentacula. Cabbage. Focus Potion. Adurus Potion. Let's just have cabbages. Um, anyway, so we're here. Um, I did a few things without recording. I wandered around a little bit. Um, but last time we went on a mission for Ollivander that didn't make any sense, and then we met the portrait of the guy that um, created all of the puzzles for me, but we didn't have the book with us because we're dumb. And then he sent us away, we went back to Ollivander, he didn't explain anything, and I'm still totally confused. But we're going to learn how to fly on a broom after I wait. I have to wait until morning, I suppose. I also spent my talent points, um, but um, I'll... I'll bring up if if we see any of them in action. One thing that I can say that 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 we got um, is if I I can now switch different um, spell setups, so that is very helpful. But I don't know enough spells to need the third one right now. But um, once I get more spells, that'll be super handy. Okay, let's begin this quest. I want to get my broom. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. <clears throat> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. There is no seat. Up! W where's the seat? Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. 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 One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. What if I want to ride side, side saddle? saddle <laughs> so you right off. <coughs> <coughs> We're having a visual artifact issue here. And if what are we sitting on? While you're in flight, ground yourself at once. If I hit something, what? Okay, what am I sitting on? Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. So what am I doing? Fly through the rings. Okay. Um, well, I want to try something, though. Hang on. I feel like, first of all... We gotta lose the scarf. There we go. Second of all... Uh, don't I want, like, a, a warmer robe? Hang on a second. Up, uh, outfits. This is very important. We've gotta accessorize. We gotta, let's wear our sweater, because we're gonna be out, out of doors. But the scarf is, is not so good for this purpose. And do we have another cloak alternative that would be good for this? No. <laughs> no. I like that one. How about... Yeah, that was pretty good. What is this called? Azure Mosaic Robe. A superb robe patterned with the color of the sky, dazzling enough to hang on a wall. Wait, are we sure? That's... Oh. This is the Azure Mosaic Robe. This is the stylish school cloak. Styled in the latest fashion. I think this will make a little bit more sense for flying, don't you?
Okay. And we can put our Ravenclaw scarf back on. Because it is chilly, but I'm not wearing it like a reasonable scarf, so let's take it off. Okay, cool. And now... Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted. Let's have this hat on. For the working Witcher Wizard. No, let's uh, let's not have a hat because it'll blow off. Alright, I'm in my athletic wear now. Oop. An error occurred. Let me see if I'm actually streaming. Okay, well, if it broke, I'm sorry. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Wish I had my own broom. What does this do? Take some getting used to. Broom controls: descend, ascend. Good grip. Don't I want both hands? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your body, <laughs> I sat on it for like five minutes changing my outfit. Advanced exercise, shall we? All right, we must do an advanced exercise. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. Which one am I supposed to go through? That one. Hold that. Toggle flight speed. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Okay. This is actually kind of hard. Down. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oops, I crashed into it. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. I was wondering if we would get to see the uh, giant squid. It's over there, big trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Do, 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 This is actually quite challenging. Have a moment. I don't want to talk to you. I don't like you. You're annoying. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh no. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I know. <clears throat> I know, so, Clopton. Care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? No. Won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Okay, we don't get a choice. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to run into the Headmaster. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? I'm gonna hit something. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay, for speed burst while in forward flight. <laughs> Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? The yeah, I thought this bridge. robe would be a little Think bit better. It is a little broken, but... I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? 
flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Maybe he's not so bad. What's that? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Wanted to go to the Quidditch pitch. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Hold and dismount. Where'd the broom go? <coughs> and where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed my face. in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom, the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. I didn't want to. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. They're so nice to me. I like this outfit. It is the latest fashion. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to <coughs> admit, those views were worth it. Yeah, we're fine. It, it, it's fine. I'm not in trouble. You're the one who's in trouble. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Spindwitches. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I mean, the trick is to just rob from everybody that you see all the time. Okay, I can get... <clears throat> Challenge complete. Complete main quests. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, let's, um... Let's find out what we're supposed to do next, shall we? Uh, um... Challenge is complete. Good, we did a quest. We get ourselves a legendary armored attire, which is just an appearance reward. And top of the class scarf is just an appearance. Um so uh now what? Now what? Professor Sharps what does this say? Something student until Professor Fig returns. Sharp's assignment will get me to Pulso. I have to get a Focus Potion, a Maxima, and Eteris po uh, <coughs> Duras Potions, and then use the map with the floating candles to find the treasure. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> okay. Do I get another story quest? I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Is that... I know a discreet place near there. Is that... what's his name? Um... Simon? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh, I think we're going to get the Room of Requirement. Um, okay, so now that the, the mail has loaded, we can look at our side quests. Okay, demanding delivery. Perry Pippin of J. Pippin's Potions in Pogsmead sent me a Powell regarding a delivery. I should speak with him if I'm looking for some simple work. Speak with Perry Pippin. Uh, okay. And then the Room of Requirement. Meet with Professor Weasley. 
And Sebastian, that's his name. Sebastian. Confringo. Um, okay, I'm going to get some conjure. Okay, I got to go to... Yeah, this is important. This is my next one. <clears throat> However, let's go to the map real quick. We're going to have to do some loading. Let's look at the Hogsmeade map, where hogs drink mead. And... Um, Figure out where the uh, Brood and Peck, that's the Beast Supply, Spintwitch's Sporting Needs. I bet that's where the brooms be. Wizard Ware. London and Paris. Um, <clears throat> let's travel there. We're going to have to wait for it to load. My juice is over. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've finished my juice. My juice is over. Ah. Uh. So for upgrades, let's see if I can remember what the upgrades I picked. I decided not to do any dark arts upgrades because I don't want to use curses. Curses, as much as that would have actually been a pretty powerful upgrade to my combat. Instead, I got improvements to my stealth and I unlocked the extra um sets of spells so I can have more spells handy and <clears throat> I got a thing where uh, Protego adds to my force meter that's not what it's called uh, that's a that's in Jedi Fallen Order what um, the ancient magic meter and I got an improvement to the Wigan Weld potion uh, New quest available. Open quest log. Flight test. Purchase a broom at Spintwitches. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Wind spitches. That sounds wrong, but it's there's nothing wrong with it. Wait, there's a there's a mystery in here. There's a there's a mission. Mission. Let me in. Is this spent witches? I don't think so. Is this spent witches? What is this? What is this? Ah, new face. Wonderful. Let's talk to Alby we Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome I'm, to Spent I'm, Witches. I'm Mr. Day. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Oh, this is Spent Witches. Since trade routes were disrupted, I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. Can't you I just you're apparate? In the for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter wind what wisps. broom you choose, you'll be pleased. <coughs> They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Uh... Disrupted trade routes? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Okay, right, that makes sense. Work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. What else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. But this kind. Sounds about this kind of broom. Brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Ah, what what do you call this one? This one is a Liebman broom. Oh my gosh, it's getting dust all over the place. <laughs> Let me put it down. Ah, okay, there we go. Um <clears throat> Oh shoot, I can't see anything. Alright, um here is an ember dash. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. 
Or the Hogwarts House Broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. Well, that's cool. Are they all 600? Looks like they are. The Moon Trimmer Broom. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Wind Wisp. Stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And U Weaver. Comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. <clears throat> Let's just preview them. That item is of the highest quality. That's pretty cool looking. So what was that? The Ember Dash. This is the... Can I look around? Kind of. Um, this has got the Ravenclaw colors. It's not as cool looking as I thought it might be. That item is of the highest quality. I like that one. What about this one? Moon Trimmer. I, I like how it's got some, some, uh, um, like, what, what do you call it? That item is of the highest quality. It's got a lantern <laughs> and, uh, saddlebags. Wind Wisp. Also has a lantern. That one looks more comfortable than the others. That item is of the highest quality. Okay, okay. All right, fine. But it's nice that it's the highest quality, but um, you're annoying. I think I like this one the most. No, no, no. That wasn't the one. Uh, the first one. It was the first that one. That item is of the highest Shush! quality. I liked that one versus... Yeah, that one's pretty cool looking, but I think I would like the Ember Dash Broom, please. Just straight off the bat. They don't seem to have any differences among them. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I can just buy them all, I guess. There's not really a need to buy them all. That item is of the highest quality. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want this Hogwarts broom, but I don't think it matters. While I'm here, let me... Oh, no, I've already sold pretty much everything I know is definitely not good. So, that's it. <clears throat> Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go Ooh. on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What Sounds I good. Need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me oh. so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. I like how I have to win in order for it to work. Uh, I don't want to ask him about his... I don't want to... I, we're done. Sounds worth a try, Mr. Mr. Months. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. <clears throat> I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay, I'm just going to rob you real quick and then... Um... I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Uh, I was going to check on the new gear we just got. Uh, it looks like it's just... Scarecrow Sorcerer Hat. Let's, let's get rid of that. Um, excuse me, Mr. Weeks. Uh, please take this hat that I don't want. Sell that. Next time I'll rob you first. That'll save us some time. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> See you again. Can I get this cape? Oh well. Okay. Question. Can I get on my broom? No. I don't seem to be able to get on my broom. Alright. So I'd have to I'd have to go all the way there, huh? 
doop 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 Okay. Haven't unlocked brooming yet. Oh! Owl post. Uh, Perry Pippin. Good day to you, sir. I require assistance with the delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I'm gonna- we're gonna wait on that. Um... I want to, um... I want to go to the seventh floor corridor and unlock the Room of Requirement, please. Um... And again, well, no, it's fine. Let's go to the map. Well, let's go to quests. We have flight test, speak with the mother... Purchase a broom for Mr. Weeks and advise to speak with the mother raise the Quidditch pitch. Uh, it's hard, because I want to improve the broom, but the room requirement will give me all these things. Oops. Um... Uh, the Hogwarts map... <clears throat> uh, the bell tower select. Okay, set waypoint. Now let's travel there. <clears throat> I want to unlock the broom for, like, getting from place to place. But it it wasn't going to let me do it, so I, I want to proceed and see if I can unlock it. But maybe I have to progress the story. I'm not sure. And the sun's coming in. Shining on our plants. I also unlocked a, a thing that means that I can throw disarmed weapons at enemies. So when I use Expelliarmus, I can then throw the thing back at them. Which is fun. And what else? <clears throat> Apparently you can use Petrificus to Totalis when you're in stealth. I just had never noticed that. <laughs> I didn't even try to use stealth that one opportunity that I had. Okay. Speak with Ramilda Vane. No, that's not right. Vamilda. Ramilda. Oh, I can get on the broom. Okay, hang on. Ooh. I like how my broom is kind of fiery. So when I use it, it lights up. That's neat. Okay, so I do have a broom now. So I can upgrade the broom. But... For now, I think this is good enough. Um, well, we're right here. Let's go. Let's go find her. This is so cool. I can now fly. And here's the Quidditch pitch. Okay. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Hey you. What was that? There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. I'm so confused. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <clears throat> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I no doubt. tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Eric Clopton. He was a lesser known member of, um... You sound jealous. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be provocative. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, bumbling. now people think you're competition. Bouncing, <sighs> bubbling band of baboons. I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only Enough one of way this. To find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Cravengran. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I probably will lose the first time. 
Because I really don't know how to, how to do this. Success. Do I fly through these? <laughs> now that's more like it. Oops, I missed him. I don't know what these boosts do. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. This is all right. fun. Uh, have to hit them all probably to beat her record. Yo, oh, I still I keep going the wrong, wrong way. Oh, because I need to invert it. That's why. He's so happy about it. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh. Come on. Wait. I had a really bad itch. No, I messed up. Boom, boom, boom. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> Exit! Woo! Well, we can check it off the, uh, the bucket list. Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Uh, there were I, all these bubbles. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. No, that's fine. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Okay, we're gonna wait you on that one. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Well, it's an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. Oh, I thought that we were gonna do like. Let's look at the race. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Broom racing, broom racing event, Quidditch pitch broom trial. Okay. I never thought someone would ever. Bet. So now I can go this way. And now I don't have to wait for things to load so much. He said, it, he said it's cl better closer to the ground, didn't he? Okay. Look out! Rebellion. Oh, there's uh, supplies. Is that a bear? Whoops, whoops. Why does it say there's a bear? Uh, okay. I don't know what that is. Okay, I can't go to Hogsmeade on the broom. That was the issue. 
Okay, that's <clears throat> Well, that was much better than watching a load screen. Just fly there. Something about your broom tool. Oops, that was the entrance. With something to report, I hope. Talk. Oh. I set the, a Wilson, record. I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. <sighs> Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. I can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. You know, can you give it to me now? Ugh. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Okay. Flight test. Alright, so I don't get a new thing. This time I will go ahead and, and use the map to... Uh, to Hogwartsify. Let's go to the Hogwarts map. <clears throat> this one. Let's track that quest. And then let's get as close as we can and we'll travel there like that. Because you can't fly a broom into Hogwarts. Oh, unless you're the Weasley twins. Oh, getting a headache. It's very pretty looking out there. I thought she was coming with me. I was like, what's happening? Oh, hello. Where am I, by the way? Yeah, these things. So... Zero... Zero, five, three. Roll. Owl. No, that's a Derbyshire, I forget. I don't understand this pattern at all. If you say Derbyshire, you won't be hired. Let me in. Good, I'm afraid to push on doors now, since I've had that experience of walking through the door and then falling through the map. But if you say job is sure, you'll get a job for sure. In the ruins of Magpie Mine, which is in Derbyshire, near Sheldon. Oh, what's above me? Ooh, that's cool. Is this? Are we on our way to the astronomy tower? Oh. Those are trolls. I thought it was a unicorn tapestry. I am not sure what's happening. Let's begin our quest. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's going to cause it to open because he's thinking about where is a place that's away from prying eyes. Yep. Suspicious 
stone wall. <clears throat> Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh no, we have to load again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> At least this is a pretty spot to load to watch a load screen from. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. The Evanesco. Ah. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. What if I vanish you, Professor? Okay, here we go. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Hmm. Lumos utility allows you to see in the dark. What? Oh, here it is. Evanesco. Excellent work. Nice. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move ah, on. You can evanesce things. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I found a I'll just letter. take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> we get to spin a globe. Hooray. Evanescence. Oh, a candle. This is so impressive. I can't believe they actually made this version of the Rune of Requirement. get up? Maybe this is how I get up there. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. That's how I was supposed to get up there with the other one. Oh, I could have just ramped up here. Oh, can I not go up? 
I see. I solved a puzzle and I didn't even know there was a puzzle I had to solve. Have some tea. Alright. Is there something else to do up here? Whoops, I fell down. I fall down. Don't let me not be stuck. Is there another way to go? Can I use Evanescence somewhere else? Revelio. Did we pass somewhere? Uh-huh. Turn the globe, that's very important. No. This is the way we came in. No, maybe if I'd make a different turn here? No, that's the globe again. Did I break it because I picked this up? Professor, I feel like I'm done. What am I supposed to be able to find? To say, I mean, I feel like I've done wh what I can. You know, I got this award. I can't get up here. Professor, maybe I need to have the spell equipped to be able to see. Oh, yeah, okay. I have to have the spell equipped to be able to know that there's something to Evaness. Wake me up inside. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, oh, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Are you talking to me? Call my name and save me from a Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Rebellion. Okay, carry on. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Well, you're doing just fine. Okay. No. Okay. What was that? A pixie. Was that a golden stitch? Oh. Well, that's cool. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> A Wiganweld potion. Akio. British supplies. Let me well, how's that supposed to help me? Jump. <laughs> Interesting. How do I make this work? Maybe I need to pulso? I can 
can climb in here. Oh. I think I have an idea. No, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe if I stand right here? Um, just doesn't look like I can get up. Oops. Okay, now it's fallen down. So... How do I get in there? Uh... No, that's not what I meant to press. Okay. Oh, I'm getting tired of walking in and out of this. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um... Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Um. Very confused. Let's down. Oh, is that Dumbledore's, uh, it's the owl lecture stand. Hmm. Well, there's some treasure there, but I don't know how to get it. But I should be able to get back to this room, right? I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, I will have missed it. I really want to get I really want to figure it out. Can I drag it in here? No. Okay, so it's got to be out here because there's no way. There's no other way to do it. Okay, it doesn't work if I'm standing up. Shoot! Okay. All right. Uh, like right here, right there. Let me I don't know what I'm holding on to. Oh shoot! Uh, I can already get into that room. What am I holding on to? Let me up. Okay. I'm stuck. And maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to get up here. Well, that gives me hope that if I could just get this to come over here. Akio. I'm sorry, we've just been just been fiddling with this for like 20 minutes. Why can't I get there? It seems like I should be able to get here. 
Oops. No, not that one. This one. Painting, can you give me any more hints? Oh well, I'm stumped. I, I gotta keep going. I, 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 I hope I get to come back. Because I cannot figure it out and it's making me dizzy. Alright, well we've reached the end, so... There he is. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? I know this Indeed actor, but it it's is. voice actor. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Shouldn't that just be the library? Now, it's time to focus on what you need. No, I want to get the chest. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The chest, just the without the stuff around the it. <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> it's probably something really cool. I'll never get it. Where's the chest? No. Oh, such a disappointment. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay, yeah, I've unlocked the desk of description. Okay. Great. <sighs> can I change it back? I want to know what was in the chest. Okay, tanned find cloak. Plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's equip. Let's definitely equip that. And the other one was not as good, so we'll leave that alone. Ah. Uh. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. 
I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I did need this. This I'll is what we want. Sorry, I'm, I'm finding out what was in the chest. Doesn't tell me what's in the chest. I'm just very curious. All right, here's the conjuring spell. I've conjured. <clears throat> very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table. Yeah, I've been waiting for these. And scrolls in Hogsmeade. No, it's I called did. scrums and Where tolls. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. I see. They make enough. They make sure you have can enough. Can we regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. <laughs> I'm still wearing the Quidditch gloves. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay, let's assign new spells. There we go. Uh, potions, herbology, utility, wall hangings, okay. Small scientific potion station. Small gothic potion station. Uh, just, all of them just need two moonstones. Uh, one burner for brewing potions. Burner for brewing potions. Eclectic potion station with one burner for brewing, brewing potions. Gothic potions. It, none of them seem to be the same. Select that. That's cool. Let's put it... Uh, like... Oh, it's got to be rectangular. Okay. Let's make it... Why, why do I care about this? Okay, cool. Rotate object. No. Okay. Oh, I get to make another thing. Okay. And then I can pick hopping. Wait, hang on. That's a potion station. And then herbology, right? Potting table. Let's make it black. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do what just not happened? underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Oh, okay. With charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. <laughs> but the room of requirement 
has its own rules. Tell me more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. Who is the we voice actor this of Deke? Together when I was a student. You said that, Eric. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, yeah, no, I would. Let's, uh, let's brew ourselves, um, and, uh, has missing ingredients, okay. Let's brew ourselves a Maxima Potion. Okay, let's learn another one. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. I have, a, I have so to much Moonstone. Once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have so many. I, I have so much. <laughs> I have the Moonstone. In the <laughs> I've been, I've Good. been gathering it all, then for days. Your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? <laughs> but I just want the chest. <laughs> okay. Conjure wall decorations and floor decorations. Okay. Herbology. Uh, gothic, eclectic, botanical. Cool. And then utility wall hangings. A winged mirror, oval mirror, long mirror. Yeah, the problem is they're all just... They're all just dirty. Uh, select. Well, there's already one there. Okay, cool. Okay. Just put some mirrors on the wall, apparently. There, we have different different mirrors. Do I have any other options other than mirrors? Apparently not. What's this? Rugs, select. Medium scientific rug. Medium botanical rug. <laughs> So funny. All right, cool. Let's put it right now. Let's... Oh, that looks comfy though. A scientific rug. Let's do that. Right, hang on. Let's change the color. Uh, undo. There we go. Cool. All right. I need to have fl more floor decorations. Okay, let's... It just wants me to prove that I can do this. There's already a nice... Okay, cool. Just put this on the floor. Cool. And now I just need more wall decorations. What's this? Furniture. Uh, I need wall hangings. Wall decorations. Artwork. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Niffler and Witch Portrait. Did that count? Yep. Um, and then let's use... Now, yeah, more portraits. Gazing Witch Portrait. Oh, too big. Shall we move on? Okay, that was weird, but we've done it. 
Hang on, let's finish this. Collect that. Uh, give me another one of those. All right. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Wow. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh my gosh. A for altering. Just aim your wand at any conjured item. Perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, an innovative chair, equally at home in study hall or eccentric drawing room. Let's make it black. Confirm. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Oh. Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. <laughs> I was supposed to do something else. You need anything else. I was supposed to do something else. What was I supposed to do? Adjust the size of an item. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Oh Try my these gosh. New designs on the floor or balcony. Alter the balcony or the floor of the room. Try aiming It didn't work. Is that the balcony? Scientific balcony. Change color. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Ambiance? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you will enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay. This has been bizarre. Whoops. <laughs> oh, you know what I unlocked that I keep forgetting to use? <laughs> I can't believe I haven't been using that. Hi, Deke. I can teleport Professor now. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Dark and mysterious, cool and moonlit, or natural and earthy? Cool and moonlit, I think, would be nice. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm. Sounds perfect. Ooh. Yep, this is becoming a wizard's mm. study. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What's, yeah, I've been wondering what this is.
Now where are we going? Oh my goodness! Now what's happening? Oh my... Oh my gosh! It, I, I've got a whole palace in here. I've got like a private... An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. My gloves. Good. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> this is your space now. Use it wisely. I want that chest. Oh my gosh, I can I can I can do everything. Here, let's grow some more Dittany. Oh, it's still growing, I see. Alright, um... Let me wait for... Uh, how does this go? Okay, so I can change literally everything, okay. Okay. I thought that I was going to get to practice. Oh, I see. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. No, of course. I, uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? N never mind. Actually, perhaps another time. Okay. Uh, this was where I was trying to go. Okay. What am I... What am I doing in here? Wow. I just have a palace to myself. Well, that's cool. What 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 is my objective? <laughs> I'm not going to make you watch me customize the room of requirement. Oh my gosh. Uh I need an Edoras potion. Uh and I need an ingredient for an Edoras, Edoras potion. An Edoras? That's that's the home of the the Rohirrim. Um, so Edoras potion. I'm missing an Ashwinder egg. So hmm. Hmm. What's this? Oh my gosh. Let's leave it how it is. I was just curious like what goes here. Wonder if I can put something here. How about a chair? No. Not inside playable space. Uh. Uh. Undo. No. Never mind. Never mind. I don't need that. Never mind. Okay. So I can always get Moonstone if I want to do that. Oops, let's get that chair back. I like that chair. Give me a chair. Uh, yeah, put it, put it right there where it was. Cool. And now let's, uh, now let's alter it. No, not the floor. Not the floor. The chair. Change its color to black. Oops. Ch uh, no. Change the chair. Change its color to black. There we go. I've now done it. But the weird thing is I can't sit in the chair. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, how do I leave the room of requirement? I suppose I go this way. Oh, I would go to the astronomy tower. Interesting. All right. Well, I might as well just use the flu powder. powder. You cleaning my floor? 
Well, this is ridiculous. Okay. Um, I would like to vanish these rugs. These rugs are silly. No. There we go. Alright, now I've got this nice floor again. Um, let's, uh, let's teleport to... What was the next thing we were going to do? That mission. Oh, but I was going to go to Hogsmeade to get the potion ingredient. Let's go there. And then we can also get the mission from J. Pippin's potions. Oh my goodness! We're doing so much and yet so little. I haven't even had all my classes yet. Have I? Like, we haven't had Transfiguration, but I guess she's just teaching me Conjuring. I haven't had Astronomy or Divination either. Uh, where's Jay Pippin's potions again? Here it is. Come on in. Healing potions of a speciality here, should you need any. I needed Ashwinder egg. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay, now I can make two. Oh wait, there was an ingredient I as hope well. To see you again. Farewell Hang on, there were there were spell things. Buy potion recipes. Oh yeah, right. I've decided I didn't want those. Okay. I hope to see you Talk again. to you. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Do you need help with the delivery? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this, why is she using so much hand, invisibility I potion? I allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Huh. She sounds annoying. Let's, I'm happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, then why does she need invisibility potion from you? I'm Revenue. so confused. J. Pippin's potions. Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's very far. Alright, well having done that, um... Having done that, we've picked up a, a thing, but now we gotta go... Back to the Hogwarts map. Then we gotta go to... Um... Secret rooms. Select... The room of requirements. Okay, at the Room of Requirements. Oops, and now we're gonna brew one of those. 
And then while this is happening, yeah, so I have a challenge to use all of these potions at once. So hopefully I do this correctly. So I think it's a Focus Potion, and a Juris Potion, and a Maxima Potion. Pick up. And I could use them in a fight, but instead I'm just going to waste them right here, because I want to understand how this works. Okay, that's a Juris. That's Invisibility. That's Maxima. That's Focus. Oh. I don't have what I need for the other one, either. Okay. Well, hopefully that didn't waste my potion. That's the Maxima potion. It's the Adurus Potion. Oh, I don't have the Focus Potion. I need Fluxweed Stem. Darn it. Well, this is all a waste. Alright, well, next time we're in Hogsmeade, we'll get Fluxmead... Fluxweed Stem. While we're here... Uh, might as well brew another one of those, and... Um... Can I brew Fluxweed Stem here? I don't have the seeds, do I? Interesting. Do, 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 do. Whoops! <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do. Let's make sure I don't use something that I have any of. There. Oh, uh, yeah, let's use one that I don't have any of so that I don't accidentally do anything with it. How far can I go with this? That's pretty far. Okay. Give me that potion. And now let's, uh... Let's, let's see about the next mission. Alright, let's track this in the shadow of the Hippogrumpf. We're gonna learn Confringo. Although I feel like I'm gonna have to wait for time to pass in order to do this mission. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> There's so much to do! So much happening. So, we've got a few things we have to do. We have to we have to meet S Sallow Sebastian Sallow of Slytherin to learn Confringo and then we have to get the f the, the the potion ingredient. Yes, indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, th thank you. Uh what else do we have to do? I don't know. Is, are we going to wait? Yeah, we're going to wait until the night time, apparently. <clears throat> he got in trouble, and I feel bad. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I've realized I'm in the wrong outfit. This is very important. I've got to accessorize. Hang on. Let's uh, let's take off my robes, which is not as risque as it sounds, and pick an outfit. There we go. <laughs> that was not the one I was going for. Uh, is it that one? 
Oh, a suit. Very smart. I think it's the one that I, the last one. Oh, that's quite good. <laughs> okay. All right, let's put that back on, I guess. Maybe the sweater. Is it really that cold in Hogwarts? And then let's get the uh, classic robes back on. Good. And let's take these silly gloves off. Okay, now we're back to my normal look. Did we get any more Hond Wandles? No. All right. Oh yeah, I can upgrade my broom, hang on. Select the Ember Dash broom. And I think I have no upgrade, whoop. Ember Dash broom, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Okay, hang on. You can upgrade your broom, it's, okay, Never mind. it doesn't have any upgrades. Okay. Um, let's leave. Good. Do I have more talents to spend? Oh, I can't tell how many talents points are available. Uh, that's an issue. Well, I'll spend them between. I'll spend them when I'm not recording, and that way I can see what I'm doing. This way. All right, here we go. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Ooh. Nice. Wait. Enter. There we go. That is a good secret entrance. I mean, it would I would be very curious about such a thing, but Whoop, How is he not coming? This place? My friend, Ominous oh. Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay, so you're friends with one of Voldemort's ancestors. That's fascinating. Rebellion. First, let me just steal some things real quick. Unidentified back item. Unidentified outfit item. Um, and... A suspicious invisible wall. I mean, a blank wall. All right, let's talk. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Mm -hmm. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, mm -hmm. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Uh, I'm just going to agree with him that that's, you know, he's my friend. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. 
To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay, I'm learning Confrengo from somebody. It may take a while to get the feel for it. All right. Mimic my wand movement. Are, can you can you hear me moving my wand, Neville? Confringo. Z. For Zorro. There we go. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the top. Where, where is Confringo? There it is. What'd you Best say? To keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice Ooh, work. Nice. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's I like it. Confringo. I think I've got it. Confringo. Well done. I like that. That's fun. Why is it not better than Incendio? Say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. That sounds good. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Hmm. Seems important. Uh... I'm gonna tell him. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. Yeah, you sure did. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way mm, to harness figs. that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. All right. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. 
Sounds good. Alright. So this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to put Confringo... Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put Confringo up there. And then Levioso over there. And then we're going to go... Wait, hang on. No, we need another... Okay, for now, we're going to put... Um, uh, for now, we're going to put... D d disillusionment there so that I have it accessible. Hmm. Oh, that's tough. Yep. That's Expelliarmus. Oop. Okay, hang on. Okay, well, this was cool. I really swear there's something here. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, well, we don't have to do... Leave the Undercroft. Okay, let's just leave the Undercroft. Did it work? Leave. There we go. It's like, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Uh-oh. You there. I can hear you. Oh. Hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. I mean, it's right there. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I promise not to say anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Dun dun dun. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I keep getting Sebastian in trouble. Ugh. All right, well, we got Confringo. Confringo. Yeah, we'll just do it in the middle of the room. Um, and... Rebellion. What do we do now? Maybe I use Confringo on you. Confringo. <laughs> the student doesn't care at all. <laughs> Where are you even going? <laughs> oh my gosh, what about... Um, what about vanishing you? Oh, you're right, we're not allowed to do any of the conjuration magic. Oh, and I can now sprint while I'm uh, disillusioned. Wait, I thought I was gonna... Oh, can I not do that in here? Okay, where am I supposed to be going? What What is happening? Oh, there we go. Leviosa. Oh, thank goodness. To levitate objects for a short time. Once you... Who wants to teach me Wingardium Leviosa? Okay, Professor Garlic's assignment. Professor Garlic wants me to field test venomous tentacula in a mandrake. Should I need to see any plants I can visit? Any seeds or plants, I can visit Dogweed and Death Cat. My field guide will guide me through this assignment, but my map can still produce require and use Venom Tentacula. Require and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies. Okay. Alright. Good. 
I need to get Venomous Tentacula and a Mandrake. Meanwhile, I can report to Professor Fig and talk about the map chamber. Well, why don't I do this... The, why don't I finish off these things while we're here? And, uh... I can get to Pulso and Wingardium Leviosa later. Uh... Yeah. I'll, I'll sort these things out. Um... Let's locate this on map. Oh my, it's far. <clears throat> okay, let's um let's teleport here. <sighs> flew. I flew and then I will fly. Oh. I fleet, I float, I fleet leaf. Flea I flew powder. Do 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 I'm just playing with the wand again. Wahaha. I don't really know how to twirl anything. It's pretty good. Maybe I can do that one finger at a time thing that people do. Now they, they do it with coins. There, entertainment over. Hello, dear. Do 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 do. Oh, this is another uh, attack situation, isn't it? Or is that the camp I've already been to? Yeah, that's the camp I've already been to. Uh, we gotta go down this way. Okay. Dueling feats. Defeat an enemy with Petrificus Totalis. Where, where are their enemies? Oh, a dark mongrel. I did it! Alright. Okay. Oh, this is so much better than walking. Thank goodness. Oh, one of these things. I'll come back to it. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. We're going to Fatima Lawang. Talk. Hello? Madam Lawang? I have a delivery from J.P. Madame! Madame! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Ow. Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. <sighs> Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Okay, here are the potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. Mm. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Canut. Drink it. Okay, but then you won't have it. I'm so confused. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps <laughs> combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. Gumption! If he fails on his own, so be it. Who are your customers? You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. But I don't know, but I couldn't see them. The customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Okay. Leaping toadstool caps. I got wig and welds, leech juice. Okay, not the thing that I need. I got that. Uh... Moonstone, lacewing flies, I have that. Well, you're useless. No. Oh, my back. Okay. All right, refined dueling gloves. Let's sell that. This will do just fine. And a tanned cloak. Okay. Ooh, ancient magic. Increased damage from ancient magic. It has a trade applied to it. Interesting. I need to put that on. Thank you for stopping in. Return to Perry Pippin. Perry Pippin was a Pippin, but he pipped a Pippin. -pip if he pipped a Pippin, -pip 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 I'm not making any sense anymore, am I? Um, what's this? A butter beer? Yep, I'm gonna drink some butter beer. I think that maybe I might be done for the day. Um, got one other one of these though. I don't want to make you watch me uh, solve these. What is over here? A graveyard. Do do. Rebellion. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That was unexpected, and uh, and yet also not totally unexpected. Yep, the, there's just, there's just in theory in the graveyard. Okay, we're going to, uh, avoid that situation. Yeesh. <laughs> that was a bit surprising. What's in this here building? What was that? What was that noise? I'm here at the wrong time of day, is what I am. It's probably locked, yep. Definitely. Alright, well, is there anything else I'd like to accomplish before um, I say goodbye? Quests, maybe? Not ready for the map chamber. Demanding delivery. I can do that on my own. Um, where is this? The map with the floating candles. How do I do that? You know, I don't know. No path available for open quest objectives. Hmm. Um, floating candles. Let's see if I can figure out what that is. Collections. Tools, enemies, appearances, revelio pages, beasts, brooms, ingredients, conjurations, one handles, and traits. Okay, what about an inventory? Inventory. Bathtub note, fireplace note. Ma maps, maybe? 
pages from an ancient book, map with floating candles. Let's view it. Okay. So, um, we've got a bridge, and then two candles, and then some mushrooms and a sign next to a thing, and the Forbidden Forest, and the moon, and Hogsmeade, or something. That's my guess. Hmm. No. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're a cow. Okay. Uh, you know, I really want to change. I'll, I'll change it later. But, um... Ooh, what's this? Stables? Uh, where am I going? There's the castle. Dun, 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 dun. Well, here's a bridge. It's probably not the right bridge. You know, this is going to take me forever. Let's not do that, and uh, I will... Ooh, is that a wolf? There's a wolf. Let's see if I get a combat challenge. Do I get a combat challenge? Complete the battle in 10 seconds. Leviosa. Kundringo. Did I do it? I did. There was only one. Well, that wasn't too bad. Anyway, having just randomly destroyed some wildlife, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Just, well, I think we'll end here. And I might do some, some play on my own. Just because, without advancing the story or anything, just because I feel like there'll be a bajillion hours... Ooh. Ravens. Oh, they're gone. They'll just be a bajillion hours of this if I don't start, you know, being a little bit more picky. Keep hearing noises, but I don't know what they are. It makes me scared. It's like, is it a spider? I don't know. Oh, cows. They just spawned in. Well, anyway, thank you for joining. Have a good day, um, and uh, let's see. What's this one? What's this broom called? I don't know, but I'm gonna make myself dizzy. Uh, Magicus extremus. Bye bye.